I guess they're just going to keep trying with these video game movies, even though none of them have worked. Whatever sells tickets, I guess. Welcome to Give It Thought, I'm Jake, and let's take a look at this, quote, monstrously cool script for a possible Uncharted movie. So if you're a fan of the Uncharted franchise and keep up with how rumors of the series jump to film have been rampant since the first game came out in 2007? Oh no, that was too long ago. 10 years, well, almost. Anyway, my preoccupation with my aging meat sack aside, stories about a possible movie adaptation have been floating around and they've certainly had their peaks and valleys. Seems like every few months we hear about a new director coming in or an actor leaving the project. It's safe to say that the idea has been juggled between so many hands that it likely doesn't resemble its original vision for the movie at all. But we got some good news, or bad news depending on your perception of this project. A script has been completed. The news came through yesterday from screenwriter Joe Carnahan and his Instagram page. He sent out the cover page for his screenplay based on the Uncharted games, as well as this little gold mine of a caption for the press to go crazy with. Surely he knew every single head Headline would be quoting this. The caption reads, done and dusted. Now the real work begins. If there's a more monstrously cool action script in Hollywood right now, I want to read it because this thing is a beast. He had to know how that sounds, right? Whatever the case, as the picture showed, the script was completed two days ago and it was simply titled Uncharted. There's no real way to know what kind of story the script will follow, meaning we have no idea if the plot will follow the first game, be an amalgamation of all the games, or if it will be a new story entirely. You have to admit though, few video games seem as ripe for movie adaptations as Uncharted. As far as when this thing will start shooting, a lot of journalists are guessing later this year, but nothing is set in stone as of yet. Sony Pictures have had a time corralling a crew for this movie, three potential directors have came and went from this project, two writing teams have previously been on board, and the film has pushed shooting dates multiple times, the most recent date being mid-2015. As far as the public knew for a while, the project had been cancelled, but now we have this finished script from Carnahan and a new director who was brought in back in November in Sean Levy. Carnahan's past work includes that A-Team movie reboot, which he directed and did not write, so you know, let's be hopeful that movie was not representative of his future work. Sean Levy is going out of his wheelhouse as well with this movie because in the past he has mainly served as a producer on projects like this year's phenomenal Netflix series Stranger Things and Real Steel. As far as actors who have been attached to the movie, we don't really have anyone. Just last month, Mark Wahlberg, who had been rumored to be in the running to play Nathan Drake, confirmed he was no longer set to star in the movie. Quote, as of now, no, I'm not attached. So we don't really have any idea who may be in the running for the main character. The thing about video game movies is, they've never been critically successful. Take the recent theatrical release of the Assassin's Creed movie, that franchise, like Uncharted, really had all the good makings of a good movie. You have a decent plot, some cool lore, and then you had a fantastic actor brought in to carry the movie in Michael Fassbender. But like all the video game adaptations, it fell flat on its face once it was converted into a movie. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I have the answer as to why. I know a lot of people claim it is the loss of interactivity and the studio meddling that kills these projects, but whatever it is, they never work in a satisfying way. Honestly, I just wish they'd stay away from the idea of making games into movies altogether, but like I said at the top of the video, these properties sell tickets because they already have those rabid fan bases that cannot wait to take in more of their favorite characters. As far as Uncharted goes, it has the potential to be good. This is mainly because of its own influences in the Indiana Jones franchise, but you could have said the same thing about the Tomb Raider movies, which were also inspired by the whip-carrying treasure-hunting fellow, and look how those turned out. I don't know, it just seems like something that should be left alone. But Hollywood exists to make money, so I guess they're just going to keep trying until something sticks. And I just wanted to catch everyone up on the fact that the Uncharted script is indeed finished, or at least a draft of it is done. So what do you think about this whole thing? Are you excited to see Nathan Drake hit the silver screen and go treasure hunting with his old pal Sully? Or do you see this as just another one of those cash-ins? Be sure to tell me your opinions on this one because I kind of go back and forth about video game adaptations myself. But be sure to tell me your opinions down below. 
and I think that's where I'm going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if it's your first time here, and make sure you follow me on Twitter at GiveItThought1. Thank you so much for watching, and I really mean it. And remember, give thought to everything.